Piper M500 is the first pressurized, known ice certified, radar equipped airplane to utilize Garmin's Enhanced Autopilot Flight Control System, or AFCS. This technology was born of the robust and sophisticated flight control systems that have flown over 3 million hours in unmanned aerial vehicles. The Piper M500 tackles loss of control issues at the root by alerting pilots to unfavorable trends and ultimately taking over control to prevent potentially dangerous situations from ever happening. This video takes you along as we highlight the different aspects of enhanced AFCS, as well as pointing out other new features making the M500 an even more capable aircraft for both pilots and passengers. ESP, or Electronic Stability Protection, is in essence a digital co-pilot that functions independently of your autopilot and monitors your aircraft's attitude while being flown by hand. Engaging autopilot. It will offer a helpful nudge when you stray out of normal boundaries and assume control by activating the autopilot if you don't respond. This helps to prevent the onset of stalls, spins, steep spirals, and other loss of control conditions. It can be disabled for training purposes, but will default to ESP on for the next power-up. ESP introduces control forces opposite the direction of bank that increase in proportion to the degree of bank. If left in a bank of 45 degrees or greater for 50% of the last 20 seconds, the auto-engage level mode will activate and bring the aircraft to a wings level condition. Engaging autopilot. The M500's autopilot engagement range has been expanded to banks of up to 75 degrees. ESP pitch protection starts at 17 degrees up and 15 degrees down. Just as with the bank, control forces opposite the pitch angle will alert the pilot to the trend and the autopilot will take over if no corrective action is taken. Engaging autopilot. Airspeed. Airspeed. The autopilot engagement range in the M500 has been expanded to plus or minus 50 degrees of pitch. The blue LVL button is a quick and straightforward method to engage the level mode at any point of the flight. The M500 will return to a wings level attitude with zero vertical speed. Activating the level mode cancels all armed and active modes of the autopilot. After activating level mode, the pilot can engage other autopilot commands as necessary. USP, or underspeed protection, allows the autopilot to remain engaged and prevent the M500 from stalling. In non-altitude critical mode, the autopilot will transition to following a minimum airspeed for autopilot functions. In altitude critical mode, such as this example, USP is activated by the stall warning air speed, air speed. and is followed by a more aggressive correction to lower the nose, prevent the stall, and fly the M500 two knots stall, above where the stall, stall warning stall, silences. Stall, stall, stall. When power is applied in altitude critical mode, the M500 will climb to correct the altitude deviation. As a result of achieving USP certification, the autopilot can remain engaged when completing a go-around. All the pilot has to do upon initiating a missed approach is push the toga button, apply power, and clean up the M500. After establishing the climb, the pilot can command the autopilot according to the missed approach procedure, but at no time does the autopilot need to be disengaged. Weather radar can be overlaid on the map of the MFD in the M500. Pilots can switch between onboard radar, next rad, and any of the other XM views. A profile view on the MFD provides a winds and terrain cross section relative to your altitude.
Using a GSR-56 Iridium transceiver, the M500 is capable of sending and receiving phone calls, texts, and emails. Emails and texts are sent through the AUX page of the MFD, and alerts appear on the MFD when received. Phone calls are sent and received through the AUX page and can be directed to include any combination of pilot, copilot, or cabin to isolate the conversation. Hi Dave, it's Justin, giving you a call from the air. How's everything going down there? It's fine, Justin. How are you? Doing fine. Just wanted to give you an update. We're in the air. I wanted to let you know we're about 20 minutes out. We should be on the ground shortly. All right, that's on and on. We look forward to your arrival. We'll see you very soon. Several other notable features are new in the M500. Replacing the wet compass is an EFD-1000 Aspen standby system. USB chargers have been added to both the cabin and cockpit. The pressurization on the M500 is digital and fully automated once the pilot enters the elevation of the destination airport. Once set, the M500 will take care of the rest. Landing gear condition now displays on the MFD. Technomark Electroluminescent, or EL, placards provide fantastic lighting for the circuit breakers. The GMA350 audio panel provides 3D audio, effectively allowing split feeds to either ear. It also introduces Blue Select Entertainment Mode for handling XM radio and phone calls. XM music can be heard throughout the aircraft or isolated as desired. The cabin can have full control over the selection via the supplied remote and built-in controls. GTS 825 traffic provides both ADSB in as well as active traffic. It will display the more accurate of the two. <laughs>